Hey, what's up my fellow farmers? It's Naples. Welcome back to No Man's Land. So we are on our way to the store because today's episode we will begin by spending a little bit of money. And by a little bit, I really do mean a little bit. That's because as you can see over here on the sale, there's this lovely uh, baler for sale that is uh, extremely cheap, only 5,298 euros. And well, this is a quadrant baler, so we can go to 240 centimeter square bills. And the advantage is we don't have to stop every time uh, a bill has been produced. So yeah, that, uh, that one was uh, really easy for me. It's on sale. It's exactly what we want. So it's mine. Of course, this is going to be a temporary uh, solution because like I mentioned in a previous episode, uh, I want to go for the uh, for the uh, Heston baler. I uh, have a lovely mod installed that has the Heston baler, but also the uh, pickup for the Heston baler and also a wrapper for the Heston baler. So yeah, that is excellent. And well, do we need this? Um, yeah, we do because I have been spending a little bit of time in between episodes uh, cutting our grass and also rowing it up. So yeah, we can immediately start in that grass field and use this lovely lovely baler i'm not going to be selling the other one because yeah if we have the need to make some silage yeah then i need to use the round baler because our wrapper only handles round bills if i'm not mistaken uh, i'm going to check that uh, in just a second yeah this only accepts round bills and only the smaller round bills the 125 centimeters so uh yeah we don't, uh, we're not going to be selling the other baler. Would have been nice if this could also handle the square bills, but uh, it doesn't. So yeah, otherwise we will have to purchase um, this one. Yeah, this one, and it can only go to 220 centimeters, so not even the biggest one. Uh, otherwise we can go for this one. We have used this before. That's a pretty good one, to be honest. Creates the entire sausage, uh, but yeah, not yet. So we're going to be unfolding and as you can see the grass field is ready for baling. Uh, let's see, we only have to unfold, turn it on, lower and we can get started. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I changed the bale size to 240 centimeters. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Perfect. Hopefully it managed to, to change uh, this bill as well that we already started producing. I think it will. I hope. Uh, let's just see how big this bill is going to be. This one is 50... No, 6,000 liters. Okay. Let's see how big the next one is going to be. I kind of missed it because I was paying attention to where I was driving. But I think it was also 6 ish thousand liters so that's uh, that's pretty good i think we can find out soon enough as as soon as the bills uh, drop to the ground but yeah you can already see a, a huge advantage of this baler yeah we don't have to stop every time the uh, bill has been created i like that we can just uh, keep on driving and as soon as the bill is done it just uh, drops out the back so that is pretty pretty good makes it a lot faster job not that I don't mind uh, to do some bailing, but yeah. It is, of course, a better option to be done rather fast. Okay, let's see as soon as that bail drops. There we go. So the other one was 6,000. This one is 6,500. Did I see that correct? That this one was 6,000. Yeah, 6,000. Okay, so this one is 220 centimeters and that one is uh, 240. So that is 6,500 liters of uh, grass. I wanted to say straw, but grass. How? Uh, 6,500? Let me just double check. I want to know how big these uh, bills are because these are the smallest round bills that you can get. Yeah, I dropped one um, too many over here because I was feeding the sheep. Making a little bit of room for the square bills. Oh, these are three and a half. For a second there, I thought they were they were five and a half. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, 
let's get this baling done and over with ASAP because yeah I have done a lot of grass work already in the previous episodes and we don't want to be doing this every time on every episode so this will be a very short quick little time lapse and then we're gonna be moving on to the next job Like I said, that was a short little time lapse because yeah, this is done extremely fast with this new baler. And the next bale is about to pop out. Well, maybe it will not fall out just yet. All right, there we go. I was able to get it all without destroying the crop. And of course now the bale wants to pop out. And you can stay on a little bit longer. Oh, flipped it over. Sure, why not? There we go. Can turn off the baler and that's it. And the good thing about this, since the bills are now a little bit bigger, we're not going to be getting that many bills. So that is excellent. Makes for quick work to clean it up as well. And just drop this one over here. And there we go. Lovely. Fold it up and let's see how many bills we got this time. Uh, nine. So not bad. Nine bills of six and a half thousand liters. Well, eight and one is six thousand. So, yeah, can't complain. All right. Um, I'm going to be removing the bills from the field, of course. And I think I also need to do some uh, fertilizer spreading for the nitrogen. Yeah, maybe also some pH, even though the pH is good. But yeah, I think we can skip the pH once. That doesn't matter. I will do the uh, nitrogen and the clearing of the bills off camera. And then I think the next job will be to harvest the soybean field. Because that is getting extremely close to being ripe. I think it's going to be in October. So only two more months. And as you can see it's looking rather healthy. So that is excellent. Exactly what we want to see. More like a little snake in the grass. Uh, but yeah. Enough of that. I'm going to get to work. And I will see you in a second. Good morning on this lovely early September morning. Well, not exactly early. It's already uh, almost a quarter to ten. Uh, but yeah, it's September and well, the soybeans aren't ready to harvest just yet. I thought that would be the next job that we're going to do. But it is now the right time to sow some barley. And that is, if you remember, my plan for the, oopsie, for the small field over here. There we go turned in a little bit too early uh, but yeah we want to do some barley over here because yeah like we saw in the previous episode the chickens they take quite a lot of food let me show you 
uh, chicken. So yeah, we only dropped in 12,000 uh, something liters. Okay, they don't really consume that much just yet because we only have a... Oh, we already have some more because we now have 120 chickens and two roosters. But yeah, we want to keep on top of things and make sure they have plenty of food. So let's go ahead and switch to barley. There we go. Can we do anything else? No, only wheat, barley and canola. Well, chickens don't eat canola. They do eat sorghum, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, that's in April. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, whatever. We're going to do barley again. I know we have done barley before, but yeah, it must be done. We need food for the chickens. We're going to be doing something else in the uh, soybean field. Don't worry. First things first. Let's get the uh, barley into the ground over here. And as you may have noticed, yeah, I did uh, do a quick little time lapse of the uh, grass field clearing and also the fertilizer spreading. Why not? It was a quick job, so sure. Unfortunately, the uh, skits here is really too small to lift two of those big bales, as you saw. It, uh, it did a wheelie. It already is doing almost a wheelie with just one bale, but really two is uh, pushing it. That's... Uh, it's too much, unfortunately, so we really also have to look into getting something bigger. Something like a telehandler. Maybe even a different tractor with a front loader, that would also be nice. But yeah, telehandler is perfect for jobs like that. I was hoping we could also buy maybe a... Uh, uh, what are they called? The bigger ones, the wheel loader. But yeah, those are maybe a bit too big for the, our farm at the moment. Especially to go into the... Um, into the sheep barn over there. Yeah, I think it's a bit too big. So telehandler would be nice, but they are rather expensive. And currently there's nothing on sale, so yeah, not anytime soon. And of course, we also have to uh, think about upgrading our uh, combine harvester because that is rather small. We can still make dew with it, but it would be nice if we can upgrade it to something bigger. And of course we have to expand our sheds because yeah we have built one lovely shed over there the uh, corner piece but we are already lacking space um i do want to build a separate bill shed maybe the one that uh, comes with this map the one that is usually placed over there don't know yet we will find out in the future first things first let's get the barley in the ground There we go, that is the entire field done. So yeah, as you may have noticed, we uh, kind of ran out of a, uh, of a, what's it called? Solid fertilizer. And for some reason, I think the consumption rate is higher than it used to be. I'm not really sure, but maybe it only seems that way. But yeah, definitely, definitely feels, uh, feels like the consumption rate has increased for some reason. To me, at least. Um, so yeah, that's the entire field done, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, pH perfect, nitrogen perfect. 
expected yield 99% we all know the reason for that I'm gonna get a mulcher as soon as we have money for it um, and other than that it is perfect so finally we can move on to October and we can start the soybean harvest so yeah I guess I will see you again in just a few seconds all right good morning on this beautiful well beautiful it is a bit uh, gray out so maybe it's gonna rain but October morning as you can see the barley has been has germinated quite nicely and over there in the distance you can see the soybean field is ready to harvest and the combine has already been set up so we can immediately turn it on and get started here we go so yeah soybeans that means that we're not going to be getting any straw everything's going to be chopped up so that's one less job to do on this field and soybeans should yield pretty decently at least they uh, they pay pretty decently per every thousand liters so that's excellent i think the farm is coming along quite nicely even though we have only just started but yeah we already have so much machinery we've got sheep we've got chickens so we're doing pretty pretty good also talking about the uh, sheep as you can see over here the uh, the wool is uh, getting a bit out of hand it's yeah nuts as you can see also in the bottom right we already currently have 240 sheep so yeah i'm not really sure how i am going to store these i think i will have to place some pallets outside because yeah the best price for wool is in april and as you can see we are currently only in october so that's gonna be a while we could build a spinnery to take care of some of the wool but uh where are they 60 yeah 60 000 euros so we don't really have enough money for that just yet so that will have to wait um so yeah we're just going to be keeping the palace outside i guess it's not much we can do about it i don't want to be selling it at a bad price is it only in april i know some products have good price twice a year but yeah as you can see april Three, almost 3600 and we are currently 2200 so yeah no way oh that's actually the lowest price possible in october so no way in hell i'm going to sell any wool just yet all right um guess we're gonna get on with the soybean harvest and you may have guessed it already that's right we're gonna be starting another a little time lapse um yeah other than this there aren't many other jobs to do currently we have already done quite a lot the grass is also already returned fully if i'm not mistaken no nah, not yet it's almost ready to cut yet again but we're not going to be doing that again this year we've already cut the gra grass twice this year i think that's fine doing it twice a year is more than enough Maybe even once, because, yeah, as you can see, the sheep still have plenty of grass available to them. So I think maybe in the future we will lessen it to just one cut a year. All right, enough of me rambling on. Let's get the time lapse started and I will see you again in just a few seconds.
And there we go. That is already the entire soybean field done. Well, only a small piece remaining, of course. And, and there we go. We are finished. No, I missed the piece. Damn it. I thought that would fit uh, the entire combine uh, or at least the uh, header width, but apparently not. That's fine. We're just going to be harvesting this small piece and then we are actually completely finished. All right, lovely. Turn it off and let's get it dumped into the uh, trailer over here. There we go. I already had to uh, deliver one trailer load to the uh, to the grain silo over there, so we're just going to be dumping this in there as well, and then we can see how much we actually got from this field. So it currently is October. I don't think we're going to be sowing that field anytime soon. So we only have to uh, prep it for the next crop. And then we can get started as soon as it's uh, sowing time. Which is going to be March, April. I think. I'm not sure. But I also want to do sorghum of course. Uh, we have done oats. Maybe canola. But yeah then we have to wait until August. So maybe baby. Maybe we're going to do sorghum. That can be harvested in August. And after that, maybe we can do canola immediately. That would be nice. Uh, okay, that is done. Let's see how much do we have in total. Soybeans, 14,839. So that may not seem like an extreme amount, but don't forget, we can get 3,600 euros for every thousand liters. So do that times um, 14,839. And that's still going to be a decent amount. Not bad. All right. Um, time to clean up, I guess. Uh, let's see. How are we on pH? Uh, pH is good on the silty clay. I have to check the uh, uh, the other part. We have some loam somewhere. That may seem, or that may turn out to be a bit lower. Nah, we're still good. All right, that's nice. So the pH is good. That means that we don't have to do any lime spreading. I think I want to get a different lime spreader as well. Because, yeah, like I said earlier, um, with the uh, fertilizer spreader, I'm not really sure if it's accounting for the amount that you actually have to drop. Although that does seem the case with lime. So, eh, I'm not sure. I don't know. But then again, it would be nice to get a different one with uh, a bigger uh, hopper or a bigger... Uh, capacity because this one only holds 900 liters uh, i'm not really sure if there is a well i'm sure there is a bigger one but if there is one that we can afford um yeah that's going to be quite expensive we do have some malls of course this one would be nice it has 12,000 liters capacity um, this one has 18, so yeah, it's not as big as the uh, base game one, but yeah, it would be nice to try and use something different than the base game models, because they are overused, as you may imagine. This one would be nice. Not extremely expensive, but at this point it is a little bit too expensive for us. But that's fine, we can save up to buy that later. For now, I think this is a good time to end today's episode. So, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget guys, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Until the next one guys, bye bye.